dire found wait for <laughs> that viper to spawn. And he's oh, going man. to pick it up. Moonlight Shadow Cast. Ix Mike Scout now. He Sick does find the invoker. Out. He's pinging him out. There's nice. the fiend grip. Oh, there's, there's the chrono. The, the fissure comes in to disrupt, but it's not going to be enough. The invoker's going to fall. That is buyback invoker, by the way. That's 100 seconds. Two dead. Two. They do pick up two, almost a third. The bat's going to get away. So that's a three man defense. And Marana's gonna TP back to base in order to push out the creeps. So this is this is real nice for them. That was a fight far from their base. They're gonna be able to push up the lanes now. They're they're earning themselves some breathing room. That Earthshaker, after he got his blink, he just hasn't gotten anything. He has his blink, he bought a staff of wizardry, but he I know that Earthshaker doesn't- oh, here goes a bat on to the Marana. He's gonna try and come in and save. Which he might. Here comes an arrow out onto the Viper. They're splitting oh, damage nice. again. They need, need to focus. Ix Mike caught out. God, he's so tanky. The, oh, oh my god, the cheese. Five Echo row. Slam going to Somebody connect, but not to bring anyone down. Nice courier There's kill. There's a courier kill as well. Oh man. And again. There's a medallion uh... picked up at 46 minutes by the bane. <laughs> They're looking to get any sort of damage output <laughs> that they can get onto that Viper because he's just so dead. Look at, yeah, look at that. 33 armor. He is just a complete beast. But we've seen that they can take him down and. Eventually. And he's all out of cheese. Viper strike out onto that Ogre Magi. Oh, poor he is Ogre dead Magi. He's dead. Here's a Chrono. It misses the Viper. It misses the bat. Oh, the yeah. This... Gotta be good to be lassoed up. I don't know. They might be in trouble here. Rain goes down. Oh. Shadow Seven in gets a roll. ulti off. He's gonna start smacking away. But is it enough? Invoke is back up. He's coming in. Oh boy, uh, somebody's cooking. Dead. There it is. Two down. Radiance mid tower. Could use use a safety, hand. But she's the only one up. That's no buyback Radiance on the shadow. No buyback on the main. No buyback on the ogre. We do have a buyback on the faceless void, but he only has a Sanjinyasha as we talked, and yeah. no chrono. There's still 30 seconds on that chrono. I need. I think they're just gonna let it go. It doesn't look like Marana's. Marana doesn't even have boost travel for another 10 seconds. Yeah. So she can't even do anything. Dire are, for Radiant's some reason, really excited about getting hits. that third set of racks down. So the well, it the top does secure the almost a win if they can take their structures. megas and the first fly he gets the top immediately. Oh. Top towers get Force back down. out. Radiant's 10 seconds on Chrono. Two, one. Looks like Radiant's Ancient is getting stuck. Everyone falling to Viper. Just like before, Viper doesn't care about people. That's All four. Cares about <laughs> things ain't looking bright for Radiance Ancient. Oh, your blood sours. Get a load of the Ancient over on the Radiance Piranha side. Piranha just running back. She burned for boots of travel, but didn't go, and she finds the Invoker. Radiance top red. Oh, Echo Slam coming long. out. Followed the up Radiance the top There's a sheep. Did Dyer's got well, a case of them? There goes Marana. Oh, big All Chrono. Radiance Ancient is under pressure. Buy back on Marana. Oh boy, but Ix Mike is gonna fall for this. <laughs> yeah. Shadow Fiend and Marana, maybe they can form a defense, but they've got Megas. Yep. I don't know what kind of defense that they can make. Both Tornadoes, both Todd. Radiance Ancient oh, has taken okay. a beating. Hate to be in their shoes. Oh god, look at how little the damage that ult did. And he's cold snap down, it looks like. He's trying to swing, but that cold snap just gonna keep him there. Oh. And of course, that boy. Bad to fall. They do pick up the invoker. He buys back. The Viper's just gonna keep on swinging at people again. He does nothing to him here. There's the uh, that was intense. That 
was a very action-packed game. That's I think that's the most kills I've seen, even in my games and in this one. That's. Uh, yep, for the finals. Um, I actually have to go pick my girlfriend up. I will be back, but it probably will be mid-game, so you might be doing this one alone. Okay. Well, thanks for I'll coming anyways, know. man. Of course. I'll let you know when I get back if they haven't started or whatever, but uh, I will see you later, Pyro. Yep. See you later, man. So for our finals, it looks like we've got Osiris Gaming against Let's uh, put some music on.
come with me because you look so fine that I really want to make you mine. Gonna be my girl. It's a one, two, three. Take my hand and come with me because you look so fine that I really wanna make you mine. Uh, we should just be a couple seconds out. This is the grand finals. Just waiting on them to start. Uh, they were kind of spamming the lobby password, so I removed the uh, in game for a sec. I said, Are you going to be my girl? Okay, I guess we're gonna start. Okay, uh, welcome back guys. If you're just joining us, this is Pyronic EX, and we are watching the Tex Thursday Evening Cup Series Radiance Grand Band. Finals with Osiris Gaming against About Tree Fitty. Uh, so both of these teams have come through some impressive opponents so far, Osiris having just defeated Wild Witch Doctor, Ten seconds who were to go. probably a favorite to win this Five uh, seconds, tournament. five seconds. From the start. And so we've seen Dying some pretty ban. impressive play come out of, uh, coming out of these teams Radiance here tonight. Ban. And this game should be a good one. Yeah. Dyer's ban. Ten seconds to go. Uh, so we've got our first sets Radiant's of bands out bid. here. Invoker and Slurk for the Dire team. Dyer's and big. Timmersaw, Nyx Assassin on the Radiant. Uh, and Osiris is first picking the Doom. And that's been a pretty popular pick lately. It's not exactly overpicked. You don't really see many Doom bands. Ten seconds to go. Dyer's pick. So, 
Dire Team picks up Rubik and then Lone Druid. Pretty solid picks. Uh, Rubik's always kind of a concern if you've already picked a Doom. Having Doom stolen and then cast back on the Doom is uh, pretty, pretty embarrassing. Storm Spirit's also a pretty good hero uh, to deal band. with a Rubik. As although Dyer's Storm Spirit band. has very effective spells, they aren't as Dyer's effective uh, when they're used by themselves. They kind of have to be used in combination, and Rubik can only steal one spell at a time, so it's not as common as you would think. Lone Druid coming out as well. Uh, another good pick for dealing with the Doom, I'm going to say. Um, Lone Druid generally has enough health that he or uh, can just kind of tank seconds to go. Uh, the damage through the entirety and not worry about just Five kind of dying seconds. easily. Our second sons of bands came out. Naga Siren, Bristol Radiance back. Pick. Pugna and Outworld Devourer. So some strong push and a strong mid-hero getting banned out. They definitely don't want that, but uh, about Tree 50 is going to pick up Dragon Knight, so they, their concerns about mid-hero picking lay unfounded. Uh, Bristleback and Naga Siren. So it's a lot of... Seconds to go. I don't know. Naga Siren's... Five seconds. Uh, both of these are kind of Let's interesting. They kind of count Dyer's on different pick. kinds of team uh, team builds. But they could be concerned about something a little bit different. Uh, Earthshaker coming out for the Radiant team. And that's a little bit of a weird pick. Uh, Rubik is going to steal Fisher. And that Fisher to is going to kill their whole team. Five um, seconds. Fisher is a very good no, spell no, no. in Rubik's hands. The lack Radiance of pick. and attack or spell casting animation when Rubik casts the Fisher means it comes out a lot faster. Rubik also has a much bigger Dyer's mana pool ban. and can just kind of throw out more Fishers without worrying about running out of mana. Uh, you can even use telekinesis and line people up so that your fisher stuns even more, go. keeping somebody or their friends trapped. Five seconds. Crystal Maiden this is a popular support. Reserve time. Uh, the mana aura brilliance helps out all the heroes that they've picked so far. Sorry about that. Um, Doom has. Continuous mana problems. Storm Spirit is a mana eating machine. Radiance ban. Earthshaker also has issues with mana early on. Uh, Crystal Maiden also kind of combos with an Earthshaker early in the game. When they're laning together, you just Frostbite and then Fisher. Keep them blocked off from the rest of the team. So that they Ten can't seconds escape. to go. Dazzle getting picked up now. Five it's seconds. Good for. Good for a lot of things, but Shallow Grave is really good at preventing Reserve a time. Doom target from dying. Um, Poison Touch is also really good at keeping an Earthshaker or Crystal Maiden from escaping. And Shadow Wave, actually Shadow Wave can decimate an Earthshaker who blinks in at the wrong moment. If he's too close, a Shadow Wave will heal all of his enemies. And all that damage will come onto him at the same time. Um, Weave is is a good alt, but it's not going to be particularly useful as a team buff this game, especially the Dragonite. Uh, he's going to have a massive amount of armor to begin with, but the negative weave on enemy heroes Dyer's pick. could end up being very important. Ten seconds to go. Five seconds. And we see our last bands. 
Luna and Juggernaut. Razor. Radiance pick. Razor. So Racer is a good another good combo or uh, counter to Doom. And that static link really kind of renders Doom helpless in a team fight after after the Doom has already been cast. Um, most Doom players late game tend to rely on just getting you know big excessive uh, attack damage numbers. Ten to seconds up the to attack go. leader's aura. Five seconds. And Razor will just kind of nullify that altogether. Reserve time. I think purely from a picking point of view that I uh, really appreciate the thought that's gone into Templar the Dire Team's uh, layout and I... Th man, okay. I do not think that Templar Assassin was a good pick at all. Uh, between Lone Druid and the Spear Bear, uh, Dragon Knight's Poison uh, poison dragon form damage over time poison touch and also shadow wave and then plasma field and eye of the storm there's a lot of ways to get rid of refraction I really do not think that was a great pick even the armor reduction Ten is not going to, to be go. very effective against uh, you know, the Dragon Knight, or anybody when the Weave goes down on their team. So as Watch we finally are getting in game here, if you're just joining us, this is Tex, the Thursday Evening Cup Series. This is the Grand Finals between Osiris Gaming and About Tree Fitty. And we are in for one hell of a game. So I hope you're ready. If you're watching this in-game, I'm also streaming at twitch.tv slash pyronicex. And as this is uh, a ticketed game, if you have your Steam account linked to your Twitch account, you are eligible for drops just by watching the stream in your internet browser. So come hang out. I'll be... Although we are on a two minute delay on stream, I can answer questions in chat and I would love to hear what you guys think about what's going on in the game. So come on by and join us. And let's see what kind of game we can get out of this. Um, hmm. This looks like an offlane doom. And we're not going to see... Oh man, we might see a level 1 Roshan here. Yeah. Looks like it. <laughs> and they're giving up on it? Oh wow, okay. 30 seconds to go. Hmm. May have just been baiting them, trying to bait Osiris into thinking that they were doing Rosh. Uh, but they are just going to head lanes. Safe lane, Lone Druid, mid lane, Dragon Knight, and then a Razor, Rubik, Dazzle combination. Hmm. God, man. And here we go. I really, I really can't fathom why they picked up the Templar Assassin here. I just, I think I it's just a this bad. One. Bad pick. I'll have to see if they can make it work for him, though. I could be wrong. Uh, Chris Maiden getting the invis room. She's just going to kind of chill out. And get some free experience here. In light of this pretty dangerous trialing, actually. Denied! And I'm not entirely sure how well this Storm Spirit is going to do in a Trilane situation. Ooh. Is that block? Oh, that is a block. We're going to see first blood here. That's a good. That's a first blood. Oh, yeah. 
Wow. Okay. Good job, Rooster. It's already things looking pretty good for Osiris. I'm not sure what that sentry ward is for. Hmm. Good Crystal Nova doing some damage to Rubik and Dazzle there, not keeping them on their toes. But Razor's just gonna get some gold here and leech this experience. So he's gotta be careful though. Yeah, he is not gonna survive this. Ouch. Some excellent team play going on here between Osiris and about Trifidi. I think the chemistry yeah. <clears throat> on Osiris is really kind of showing through here. God, I'm starting to lose my voice. Cast way too many games tonight. I think after this I'm gonna go make some nice green tea with a little organic honey. Okay, wait. So this Trilane bottom is still having issues. Uh, Templar Assassin at last hitting Dragon Knight ever so slightly. Although, if this lead gets much bigger, things could go poorly for the Dragon Knight here. A Dragon Knight does have a bit of a problem with Templar Assassin early, still in the waiting phase. Because of that, uh, Breathe Fire, Dragon Knight's best tool for winning the mid lane, completely uh, rendered useless by Refraction. As long as the Templar Assassin is. Is really doing they, or doing things the way that they should. Uh, getting oh wow, actually the dire team finally getting a kill up in this try line, and we look getting a little too close to that storm sphere, and he's gonna pay the price. Ooh, or maybe not. Razor and Dazzle coming in from the back. Salve going up, keeping the Rubik alive. Another salve going on Storm Spirit, and he needs to get out of there. They're gonna try to. Oh no! Dazzle getting blocked and killed by creeps. Razor getting picked off, and now the Rubik going down as well. Let's not have the mana. Let's keep the end. Oh no, level 2 Dazzle. Lots of styles being cancelled here. It was a good plasma field. Things are finally climbing down. Razor can get a little bit of this farm here. So I'm just gonna check something real quick. Yeah, 252 people, not bad. Paratreads coming out for the storm speed. They did, they did smoke in the fountains. So they're gonna get back to land a little faster.
Dragon Knight is 6 and has popped his ult, so... This is the problem that as I mentioned. Like, he's, she's just losing the fraction charges. All you had to do is hit her once. Uh, Rubik. Rubik, Rubik, Rubik. Oh no, Rubik. Oh my god. Oh, this crystal man wanted that so badly. Somebody's on a roll. And Razor. Okay, Razor going down to solo Storm Spirit. Guess we know who controls the lightning a little bit better there. The Dyer best do something about that bottom tower. And Doom going out on the one druid, so he's not gonna spawn this one. Guess what's happening to Dyer's bottom tower. There's uh, some good rotation going on here. I think this has been a a pretty common uh, a commonality between all the games we've been casting here tonight. The teams that have done the best or done better than their opponents have really just had uh, better rotation. They they just kind of group up for things. They execute. The they get I kills faster. The top tower. They'll just there's just uh, I don't know tighter team play. Just even in these early stages. Just, you know, teleporting to a tower, helping allies getting kills. Uh, so much of that just comes down to the skill, the supports, and how much they're paying attention to what's going on in the game. Technical difficulties. And even with... This is Radiant's all, gone yeah, four, and their structures. Dyer's four of uh, Dyer's five just in this tower. And they're gonna get repelled Dyer's here. mid tower could use a little help. Let me shake. Them Dyer buildings are tough as nails for now. Dyer's mid tower won't last much longer. So Dyer's just, mid tower. Uh, that's gonna get in high range, and then the radiant disarmed bottom tower. Couple of assassin getting a free tower in the middle. She's a ways from her next item though. And Power Ted's getting bought by Razor. Ooh. Little Druid doing some good damage to Doom. Doom just throwing out the Doom immediately though. Um Lone Druid actually might Okay man, this is getting slid up way too much. Nice. Unfortunately the die but there's the lift, and no chance for a refraction. Uh, so all three of those dire heroes came up. I wasn't quite in time to save the lone druid, but they did get they got the temple assassin out of it, and they might get this tower as well. Twenty seconds until so that elder dragon form is back up. Radiance top towers on the dragon knight. And good Earthshaker teleport in, but uh, Dragon Tail goes out before anything can be cast, and it looks like they might get away here. Dragon Knight not taking very much damage. He's still got a That's wand, so there's the Shell Grave. He's got a wand, and then Dragon Form. No, okay, he's just gonna go down. Uh, Del's just gonna go down now, too. He's got his cooldowns, trying to keep Dragon Knight alive. And Rubik out of mana is going to do hide in the trees. Dyer's top tower is getting beat Lone down. Lone making its way up there ever so slowly. Phase Boots and Orb of Venom is all he's got on the Dyer's bear. Dyer's got one last top tower. And... God, he needs, he needs last hits bad. He's doing alright. Third place in terms of last hits. But he needs to be in first place. Dramatically. Especially with both the Templar Assassin and the Storm Spirit both being Radiant Heroes. Uh, Lone Druid is... He, he needs that gold if they're going to mount any kind of comeback in this game. Uh, smoke getting brought up. Ooh, lots of items in the stash for Crystal Maiden. Smoke also coming out for Earth Shaker. Earth Shaker. Doom going 
going up. Ooh, Shallow Grave gonna keep him alive for a little bit, but that's not gonna be enough. Heal coming out as well. And they're gonna have to die. They do get the deny. Allied here is denial. Everybody getting items. Did he just get. Wow, he got two. Yep. And Templar Assassin with a band of elven skin rushing a Yasha, maybe. Radiance top towers taking hits. This Razor is only level 8, rushing a mech. Mech coming out for the Doom. And our team is just getting further behind. I need to do something to pull this back. And this might just be it. Stealth Roshan attempt. They're not going to be spotted out by anything, but they may realize that something's gone wrong. And Earthshaker's smoked up. Let's see if he gets close enough. He's looking for a room. Maybe he knows what's going on here. Waiting for his team to show up. Oh, this is going to be close. As we look left, we're dead. Storm Spirit in the pit. Oh, Echo Slam. They're just trying so hard to get that. Oh, no. Oh, no. It could not have gone worse. Five down on the Dire. None down on Osiris. And the, both the Roshan and the Aegis are picked up by Osiris. Things are not looking good about Tree City. Dyer's mid towers having technical difficulties. Hope the Dyer weren't partial to that mid tower. More smoke going off, I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't think they're going to initiate on this. Orange needs a time. We're just waiting on Osiris to resolve. I'm guessing is some kind of lag issue.
Carry on. So we're finally back in here, it looks like. And the entire team looks like they're Grouping up here a little bit, they might want to try and do something to this doom, maybe. This razor needs to be really careful, though. Ooh, that Dyer's trap may have spotted him out. I think that dragon knight might be spotted out, though. Radiant's yeah, they're walking all over that trap. There's up. the doom. You need a dragon tailed. Poison, There's the lift, and wow, they really do not have very much damage. Okay, yeah, he went, wow, mech and vanguard on doom? Oh man, this scorched earth, scorched earth and unholy aura, and it's so much health regen. What? That's four to roll. How about that? Radiant's mid tower could use a hand. Dyer's bottom tower's oh, getting yeah. the business. Just, Radiant's toughing up their structures. That was a good dragon tail, but this dragon tail is super dead. How about that's four to roll? Blink echo and. This is yeah. There's the GG. Two down. And after all that pause, the game is over right away. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, God, that was Tex. The Thursday evening cup series. I'll try to stream some Sunday evening cup series this Sunday. Assuming everything is still going on. And I want to thank everybody for watching this. So, I think that's just about it for me tonight. I just want to say um, thanks. Also, congratulations to Os Osiris Gaming, winning a cool hundred bucks. And I guess I'll see.